Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Roblox Chicken. Today I'm going to cover how to create any Roblox game for free. Let's get into the video. Number six, get Roblox Studio. Roblox Studio obviously needs to be allowed on your computer if you want to create games in Roblox. Without that, it's almost hard to create a game. If you don't have it, you do not have to worry. Just go to roblox.com create and click the button in the middle of the screen to start creating it. The Roblox website will open the Roblox Studio whether you have preloaded it from before or they can immediately uninstall it only then. But note that you would always need to update it once you have downloaded it, and without updating it correctly, the app would not be of much benefit. If you have downloaded the Roblox Studio app, you will only be brought to it once you start the start making alternative that you will be able to use in the Roblox Studio. To learn the basics of Roblox Studio, follow the below mentioned steps. Step 1, set up installation and output console. Until we proceed, you will need to set up a free Roblox account and set up Roblox Lab. This Roblox Studio video tutorial above will cover the whole phase of downloading and installing Roblox Studio, as well as how to reach the output console that will give you debug details. Although Roblox Studio may seem a little complex, it's fairly easy to run. The Roblox editor is one of the better crafted editors we have ever used. Only obey the demonstration on camera phase by stage. For non-English speakers, if speaking too fast, we suggest that you use a YouTube settings icon to slow down the tempo of the recording. Again, if you have any concerns, please feel free to use the comment section below. Step 2. Roblox Studio Editor Basics Roblox Project Editor offers a range of important resources for game designers, but before we can build our own blockbuster path, it is crucial that we become pros with simple features. In this Roblox Studio tutorial, we will go over how to form artifacts and pieces to build visually interactive worlds. You can learn functions like shift, scale, rotate, and the fundamentals of navigating through the Roblox app. We firmly recommend that you take some time to get acquainted with Roblox Studio's various control buttons and menus. Although I think our video does a fine job moving past the fundamentals, you should check out the Roblox Wiki if you want a deeper dive. Number 5. Pick a template or build a prototype from scratch. You can either go to a pre-designated and already constructed prototype or create your own version from the edge. The first feature you can see when you have entered the Roblox Studio is the option where the template is to be included. You would be able to see all the models that are available to you in the Models tab. If you choose to create your own design from scratch and do not go on with the one of the current ones, you would need to select the base plate alternative. They are almost done but you are always going to have a gray colored floor where you can alter and modify your things. Number four, click on the add game session. When you are starting to work on the concept, the first component you are starting to have to incorporate is something that goes with the name of section. Component is essentially an object that can be converted into a form or scale that ultimately serves to function as the bricks of the game. You should change the size, color, and quantity of the measure. The improvements and modifications that you apply to the component would be quite significant, since it will be the basic basis of your game. Make sure you anchor your role if you want it to remain above level, otherwise it may crash to the level because of the gravity of the game. Number 3. Install further functionality in the explorer bar. When you want to introduce extra objects into your game, such as players and soldiers in the battle and so on, all you have to do is go to the Explorer tab, which you can see on the right side of the computer, and then pick anything you choose to introduce to your title. In addition, the options you want to use in the settings of the objects you connect to the game can also be added via the Explorer bar, so keep in mind that this bar is quite important. Number 2. Press Run to execute the application. Once you have programmed and designed your game and you feel like trying it out to see how this game is going to work, just go to the top play bar icon and you will see an option that says it's going to run. Pick that and the Roblox Studio will encourage you to use your own avatar to play the game. You can make certain improvements right after you have played it, so there is practically no harm in checking out the game until you go on. Number 1. Post your game so that everyone can enjoy it. Eventually, if you want your friends and other gamers to play the game, just go to the file window where you can see in the top right corner of the screen and see a button that asks Roblox to publish it. Click it, and whether you wish to post it to the media or share it personally, you will be able to do all that. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video. So long.